Okay guys, today I went to the Treasure Mart in Kokomo, the one by uh, Lowe's if you live in Kokomo. Um, I'm going to show you what I got from there, because if I put it in my end of the month haul video, it's going to be a really long haul video, so I'm just going to show you my... Uh, my haul video from the antique mall now and um, I got some really cool stuff stuff I've been looking for some of it I'd never even seen before but it was cool so I got it and we're going to listen to party time 50s just 50s music oops all right so uh, I got this this is super cool I've been looking for this this is a Sears and Roebuck truck. Um, this is from uh, Ertl. And uh, not only is it a Sears truck, which I've been looking for, but it's also a International Transtar Sears truck. I like the Transtars, the cab overs, they're cool. And um, the only thing wrong with it, other than the smokestack being chewed off is it's missing the other duel you know it's got duels on this side now it's got a single on this side but whatever it's not in bad shape the only ding on the trailer this might rub out because that's not actually like in the paint and it's over the label so it didn't like tor tear up the label but, um, it's got the doors and they close. It says it says Ertl right there. Here, this side looks mint almost. It's got a little dent right there in the front of the trailer, and that's it. Um, then it's got the uh, feet here for the trailer, and they I think they fold up. Yeah, they fold up, but. I'm not going to bother folding them up. Move my camera back so that we can see see better now. Uh, you got to cut that off. Or untie it. I just untie it. So you can see it's international trans star the um, windshields clean it's not cracked or anything so you can see inside there the uh, horns on the top are all there like I said it's kind of rusty on this side of the truck here um, other than that the trucks in good shape not all rusted out underneath. The only thing wrong with it, like I mentioned, is it's missing this dual right here. But um, sitting on the shelf, you won't be able to tell that. And it doesn't affect its rolling either. It rolls really good. So what are we gonna do with that? So, So, uh, next, staying in with the, uh, Sears mood, since Kmart owns Sears, we have a Kmart truck, another international cab over. This one here looks like it's from the, from the front. It looks like the truck that's in the, uh, original Gone in 60 Seconds movie. From the 70s. I think it's from the 70s. But anyway, um, I don't know what brand it is. There's no markings on it except for right here. Oh, wait. Nope, that just says made in Hong Kong, just like on the base of the truck. But it's metal, so that's nice. Unfortunately, the uh, label's 
tour right there it just says KM. <laughs> but other than that, it's in good shape. It's not scratched up. The trailer's missing the uh, doors, but again, when it's sitting on the shelf, you won't be able to tell that at all. Um, I can tell that it is probably from like the 80s or 90s even though this truck's a 70s truck I know it's not from the uh, 70s just the way the truck's made and if you don't believe me here's a Kmart logo timeline let's go to United States looks like it's in the 62 to 1990 category and like I said I'm gonna put this at about the 80s so I thought that was super cool especially because I've been looking for a Sears truck didn't think they made a Kmart truck so I'm glad I found the Kmart truck. So uh, I got some nice Lesney trucks. There's a bus and a Texaco truck. We'll look at the bus first. The bus is from it's a super it's from the super king series from 1972 the londoner is the k15 and it's still as you can see it's still got the original doors you know they're not knocked out of there and watch this see this switch right here i'm going to push this to the right doors open up pull it back to the left There's the front of it. Kensington. <clears throat> Swinging London. Carnaby Street. And down here you got a London transport sticker. These are paper stickers. I'm surprised they're still on there. I mean, the bus looks brand new. And again, it's from uh, <clears throat> 1972, so for it to be in that good a shape is amazing. These front doors don't open up, it's just these middle ones. Here we have another Super King. This is the, uh, okay, articulated tanker. What are they calling this one? This says Ford uh, LTS series. So this is a Matchbox Super Kings. This is from 1973. This is the Texaco truck. It's still got all the labels on it. Even got it's even got the plastic uh, mud flaps and everything are still on there. feet are still there with the little tiny wheels on there. Okay, this is from 73 and this is from 73. Okay, so this set um, probably came out in 73. But it, it looks, looks brand new. And uh, I think this white part's metal. It might be plastic, actually. I thought it was metal at first, but the base of the tanker is metal. I know that, and the whole whole truck is metal. And if you pull this breather back on the side of the truck, the hood opens, just like a real one. There's the front of the truck. There. 
it says Ford on the front there. Got big old tires on it, Super King tires. It's got this all the smokestacks. Now the smokestacks are broke off. This isn't wore out, so the trailer goes in there good. The ladder, guard, and everything's still there. Looks just about brand new. Looks like we got a convoy going here. <laughs> uh, got these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the price tags off of the plastic so you can see them. Got these mid ni mid 90s um, Hot Wheels. We got Hydroplane from the 1995 model series. Team Hot Wheels Racing. I've got the uh, last run Hydroplane, but I don't have the uh, Team Hot Wheels one. That's cool. There's the back of it. The whole series of the 1995 models. Got the track system and the little Mattel guy down there. And um, then we got the pedal driver series, the Talabat Lago. Lego, I don't know how to say that. Um, from when I was little, I've got the dark green version of the Talabot Lego. But, um, I've never even seen this version before. It's got a little Hot Wheels logo down there. And uh, these, stay, these are staying in the package because they're older packaging. This one I think is from 96. I don't know. This says copyright 90, 1994 right there, but so does the 1995 one. It says 94. So, um, there's all the series for whatever year this is actually from. There's a collector tip, which is cool because I like the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow. Is that um, then we got a loose Chevy pickup here this is the ecology center truck I've got three of the ecology center truck I've got one in the package I've got one out of the package and it's got different wheels on it um, this one's got some of the bars light lights tore off the bar up there. But it's got the snow blade still. And um, let's see. Okay, this is '79. What they call this? Power power plower or something like that. But um, it's kind of chipped up. But you know, it it was on sale for. Like 50 cents, I think it was on sale for. So uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it, even if I got four of them, because if I decide that I wanted a different color, I can make it a different color, because I've got two other ones, so I won't feel like I'm losing anything. Um, then. I got, there was a booth that was having a 90% off um, sale, so uh, um, he had a whole uh, whole whole like pile of uh, 164th scale or close to it vehicles, and so uh, I picked out. I don't know, I think $20 worth of cars, I don't know, something like that. Uh, 
I don't even know what I want to start with. I guess since we've been looking at big trucks, we'll keep that going with this uh, English truck here. What they call this thing? F Foden, F O D E N, Foden or Foden tip truck. And they don't mean tip truck because the cab tilts forward, but I, I imagine there is a dump truck or some kind of tipping thing on the back of here. But, uh, hmm, I think I know what this is going to end up being. Yep. It's going to turn into a flatbed truck. That's what it's going to be. It's the perfect length. But this is uh, made by Impy in uh, made in England or maybe Impy's the series and Lone Star is the brand but regard I don't know anything about these so, but regardless it's a Fodden tilt cab truck and it's in it says Roadmaster Impy supercars and there the cab tilts forward and engines painted it's all metal so that's nice uh oh my cab won't close Whoa. there we go there's the front of it right hand steering of course with it being a English truck so that's cool Gonna flip the tape over I forgot this tape is kind of short but, um, see we got another I, I have one of these that looks just like this that's in better condition but I like this truck a lot so I got another one um, it's missing the door but that's alright uh, here refrigerated okay refrigeration Re wow refrigerator truck I don't know why I can't talk obviously it's a GMC probably like a 58 59 GMC truck something like that there's a big air conditioner uh, refrigerator unit on the front of the truck there it's got a chunk out of the front bumper there but other than that it's in fair I'm gonna say fair shape the windshield has some issues and it's missing the door but um it's not in a whole lot worse condition than my other one but my other one doesn't have chips in the paint and my, my other one also has a door but you know whatever um I had got a this is a Tootsie Toy steam shovel truck. It's got a little dent like it run into something there. But when you're just looking at it from the side, you can't tell. And um, I looked and looked and looked for... I knew it was a Tootsie Toy, but I couldn't find it. It says it up under the wheels there. You can see the... Uh, up under there and this doesn't say anywhere what they're calling this thing but uh, the unit on the back of its plastic but the rest of the trucks die cast and it, it rotates around scoops up stuff yeah, that's cool. Um, obviously, these two have rubber tires because they're squeaking. This is another one of those uh, Lone Star Roadmaster cars. Your Lone Mas Lo uh, Did I say Lone Star? I meant Lone Lone Star. Uh, made in England. Here we got a, a Puget, is what I'm gonna say. I know I'm not saying that right, but uh, 
404 model. Looks like we got a Hong Kong reversed stamp on the side of the door there. Um, oh, there, and then you got a 404 on the front there. The hood opens up, revealing an engine. The trunk opens up, revealing the rest of the trunk. <laughs> Nothing is in there. Uh, doors open. I'm, I'm probably thinking these are probably expensive little cars when they were new. They do a lot of stuff. Oh, and they have suspension in them. Got another Puget, or another uh, Lone, Lone Star here. Got a Ford Zodiac Estate. I've got the Matchbox Ford Zodiac, but um, it's not a wagon. It's a, I think it's a sedan or a two door or something. But anyway, there's the engine. Got a big crack in the windshield there. I like this color. Doors open, revealing a strange looking interior. Bright green interior. The back rear hatch opens up. There's more of that green interior. It's got suspension in it too. Um, we got a Chevy Love, which was before the S10, they had the Love. There's a Chevy Love step side, which I didn't know they made a Love step side, but. Um, it says love right there on the quarter panel. It's not going to focus, but right there. And these aren't stickers. These are actually like printed on there. It says Chevy pickup. Chevy. Chevy pickup. Here's a good side. This is a Yatming. Made in Thailand. I thought that was cool. Got a uh, I'm back. Um, I got this Adidas truck. Um, it's only got the Adidas sticker on one side though. But um I always wondered, this is a Corgi Jr., and I always wondered what kind of van this was supposed to be, because my uh, black one that I've got, that is a, it's exact same casting, but on the bottom of this one, it just says U.S., come on, just says U.S. van. This one says Chevrolet van. So now I finally know. I don't know. Well, it was nice. It's still a nice van, but it got chipped up right there when I dropped it on the other van. Uh, I thought the Adidas was cool. Uh, we got another van. I think it's a Chevy. It looks like a Chevy from the side. It was white and now it has no paint left on it, which to me is just a blank canvas. I can turn it into whatever I want. Looks like a Ford from the front though. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It has nothing on the bottom except for made in Hong Kong. Rolls pretty good though. Here's a uh, FedEx van, and um, this is one, one of those uh, Golden Wheels vans, or Golden Wheels toys. This is a 99 Ford Transit. The World on Time FedEx, and it's even got the phone number and the website. It's got a FedEx 
logo in the window there. Kind of dirty on the top there, but I think that'll come off. Here we have a Lesney, I want to call it a fire truck, but I don't know what Lesney called it. Fomite Crash Tender. Okay, so it's a Fomite Crash Tender. But uh, it's got this gun on the top here. Since it's a foamite truck, it probably sprayed foam, uh, but it rotates around. Looks like something was right here. Used to have letters right here. I've, I'll go get the truck that has letters on it. Here's here. This one's got all the letters on it. Airport crash tender. Well, except for the R on the end. So I got that. This is a Lesney. I don't know if I mentioned that. Actually, everything we have left is Lesney. We have a Lincoln Continental that is turquoise. It's missing the trunk and the front wheels. It's got a giant H on the bottom of it. So the Lesney Lincoln Continental series number 31. Here's the front of it. It's got white interior. Not too much to say about that car. Uh, here's a Rolls Royce. Ooh, no, the hub is cracked. The hub wheel cracked. The hub cap is cracked. <laughs> um, uh, wow, look, all the paint's off the bottom of the car, too. Um, I've got a really nice, clean red one, just like this, except for, it looks like this one, it's almost brand new looking, but, uh, it's this car, it's a Rolls Royce Silver Shadow, and, um, I always said that no matter what the condition was, if it, if it was complete, I'm gonna buy the Rolls Royce. Because I think Matchbox, Lesney just like nailed this casting, I think. And, um, you know, the paint's coming off of it. I'll probably paint it black. The, uh, the trunk opens. There's the inside of it. It's got white interior. Then you can, I can polish that grill up since it's die cast. There's the bottom of it. Then, oh, this feels loose. It is loose. That bottom rivet's popped off. There, I fixed it. This is a Lesney. I don't know what this thing is, but it's very tiny. It's a Ford Corsair. It's got a trailer hitch, but. The hitch is tore off of it. Kind of a creamish color. It's got red interior. Uh, I got one more thing to show you. This is a showcase for a 118th scale vehicle. I'm going to open it up on camera. Oh, and then see, you can stack them up, so that's cool. Oh, the box come unglued. <laughs>
Yeah, see, that's kind of what I figured. It'd have cracks in it. It's got a crack there and a crack there. But, um, I'm hoping that my warlock fits on here, so I'm going to go get my warlock. Yep, it fits. Open the hood up on it. That looks nice. My truck won't get tore up that way either. And uh, the brand of this, I suppose, is Collectors. Um, I, yeah. I'm going to say the brand is Collectors. Cause I can't find your different brand on it. Um. Hmm. Well, bear with me here. I think I think that was Collectors is the brand, but that maybe not. That looks nice. My truck in there though. Feel safer. Feel like my truck's safer in there now. So, uh, minus the black truck that's in here, this is my haul video, everything I got at the antique store. Obviously, the, obviously the case isn't that old, but, um, everything else is. So, uh, there's everything here. Oops, I don't want that to get scratched up, so I'll move that. And, uh, here is the, uh, music we were listening to. I always give credit to the music. Because, again, I'm just playing it so that if I get up to do something, there's not just dead silence. So uh, that's everything. Thank you for watching. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any questions about any of the trucks, feel free to ask. Now if you're asking what year they're from, this one's from 69, I know that. These I told you in the video. This one's 72. That one's like 73. But, um... I don't know. Maybe you've got some ideas for what color I should paint this. I might paint it white. I might. Ooh. Scratch that. I have an idea for this. So, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.